Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I'm Ali Ray, and today I'm trying actually one of my highest rated hazy IPAs, Fax. Look it up on my untapped, promise you. Uh, this is called Rogue. It's, well, it's by the brewery Rogue, which is out of Newport, Oregon. It is actually called Bat Squatch. Okay, that was a mega surprise. I first heard about this beer from a smoothie boy at the gym, but I had never tried it two years later. Now I'm finding it and I'm like, oh, that was actually recommended to me. So I'm excited to get my hands on it for the show because I've actually always loved it, but I want to do like an official review, you know what I mean? So it is actually an, a hazy IPA. It's 6.7% and it is 54 IBUs. It has a super cool can of a Sasquatch who looks like a bat. Very, very cool. So let's Oh, oh, we're gonna use a copper penny. Wow. Okay, Bat Squatch. This is a beautiful hazy. This is only 54 IBUs, and my sister's like wanting to love hazies, and so I was like, this would be a cute one for you to start with because it's actually kind of a nice inter intro one. <gasps> beautiful. All right. Mm. So fruity, so good, looks beautiful. Nice rocky head, color is nice. Oh, another side note about Rogue that maybe you didn't know, they're actually called Rogue Owl and Spirits. They actually have freaking whiskey, gin, vodka, so they're really branching out and I think that's important to note about the brewery in itself. Smells deliciously fruity. It tastes very, very delicious. It is a little bit, in my opinion, there's a fuller flavored taste, it's a little fuller body, which is expected with a hazy, but this one in particular definitely hits you like a freaking hazy. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Lots of yummy fruity flavors. I love it a lot. I don't know what, I know I've rated this on my untapped, so it's probably not gonna match, but I don't know what I'm gonna give it now, but it's so good. It doesn't beat out Dr. Juice for me personally, but it's definitely number one, or I mean number two. I mean, it really has to be. I'm gonna give this one 4.4. And that's a good rating for me. I don't think I've really, I, I think the highest I've ever given is a 4.5, so it's really up there. It's one of my favorites. I recommend it to anyone. I'm pretty sure you can get it just about anywhere. I think I picked this one up in particular at in Texas, to be honest, so I know they're sold, sold you know, throughout the country, but it's a very, very good beer and I love it. I would definitely tap that. I would tap it, tap it, tap it all day. All night. Side note on the bat squatch. I would say after having it on tap and having it in a can, I do prefer it on tap. Most people, most beers are better draft, obviously on tap, but that one in particular is a very different flavor of profile, in my personal opinion, from the can to the tap. So there was a strong variation there. Just wanted to point that out. Mm -hmm. 